Mm. Today, we are being super healthy, super goopy, and super kombucha because apparently Trader Joe's is shaking up all of the industry right now to the point that everything is sold out and I could not get my hands on it for way too long. I had been perfectly content spending $30 to $40 on my super goopy sunscreen. This is the unseen sunscreen that goes on like a makeup primer. I've used it for years. I've TikToked about it. It goes on so well. It gives you a glow with absolutely no white cast. And it's what I've recommended to people over over and over again who are struggling to find a sunscreen that doesn't flash back. And when Kylie Jenner came out with her sunscreen, which is basically a ripoff of this, it was a couple of dollars cheaper. And I actually considered buying it, which I didn't end up doing. I considered recommending it to others because it was less expensive, but there really was no other dupe out there on the market. And for me, I stayed loyal to the Super Goop because I like the brand, I like what they stand for, and I, you know, personally can't say the same for Kylie's skin. And I like to, you know, put my money where my morals are. Well, this is a beautiful, wonderful sunscreen that costs a pretty penny and that hasn't changed but what has changed is the competition, specifically from Trader Joe's. People were like, Cassandra, you have to go to Trader Joe's. You have to try this sunscreen. And I thought, oh, Trader Joe's has another sunscreen. Like, I hope it's not another sunscreen SPF 15, right? And then I was told about this interesting $9.99 bottle that while it looks very cheap as far as the packaging goes, the ingredients, the claims, and even the SPF number look shockingly similar to the Trader Joe's Super Goop. And the nail in the coffin was when my dear Dr. Dre uploaded a YouTube video, which you know I got the 9 a.m. PST notification for, and she did a comparison between the Trader Joe's and the Super Goop. That is what I knew. I had to get my hands on this mother And you know what I haven't been able to do? Get my hands on this mother I went to so many Trader Joe's, three, before I started calling them and realizing everyone is sold out. Trader Joe's has apparently created this sunscreen that everyone says is identical, and I wanna get my hands on it and test them out and try them on my skin and see if there is literally something a third, a fourth of the price available. Because I love this, but I don't love the price. Well, Trader Joe's was a debacle. It was a disaster. Again, I love Trader Joe's. They have some of the friendliest staff members, some of the best prices on your vegan orange chicken. The sunscreen selection lives some that are good and some that are not. But this one was selling off the shelves hot. So when I did walk into Trader Joe's to get, you know, my little salad bowl and my spicy lentil wrap, I said to the cashier, do you have any in the back? Like, you gotta help me out here. A girl is burning in this California, Arizona, 100 degree weather sun. I need some, some unseen sunscreen to help me through the day. This kind soul went to the back for me and I was basically told, we don't have anything, but try coming back in three days. But there was a catch. They said that there was only one per customer. Apparently people have been buying these so much that they put a limit of one per customer because people are buying them and like selling them on eBay in the black market. And if you even Google the Trader Joe's sunscreen, it's $25 on like a black market site. Like I'm like, what is going on? Like people are dying to get their hands on this. So I decided I'm going to mark this in my calendar. I'm going to reschedule my schedule to show up at 8 a.m. And I'm going to bring three people with me. Do I actually need three people? bottles of Trader Joe's sunscreen? No, but I absolutely needed to get my hands on this. So I waited patiently, marked the days off my calendars for the shipment to arrive, knowing that shipping delays have been insane recently. And I gather up my little ducklings, my little ninos, my little comrades, and we walk our ass into Trader Joe's ready to pick up our sunscreen. Guess what the shelves don't have stocked? Mm! I even go in and you ask for the sunscreen. They know exactly what you're talking about. And unfortunately, the shipment was delayed. So so instead of giving up hope, what did we do? We went across town. We found another location and Trader Giotto pulled through and your bitch got the daily facial sunscreen dupe for Super Goop. Now, is it an actual dupe? That is what I'm here to test out because although the internet has been saying they are the same, they actually look slightly different. And I want to know, is it worth the price? Are the ingredients different? Are the actives different? Do they feel or wear differently on the skin? Who are these for? The same person or is one for a very different skin type than the other? And most importantly, this is $9 and this is 36. Is this actually worth the money or does it make my eyes burn and cry? honey. And that is what we are here to test today. The first thing that we got to notice is the packaging. Super Goop's packaging is definitely much nicer. This one from Trader Joe's definitely feels a little OEM, you know, a little straight from the manufacturer. But what's interesting about Trader Joe's that a lot of people don't know is that Trader Joe's is no secret to private labeling. And I can say this because it was told to me by someone without an NDA. And I am also very well aware of how these things work behind the scenes. Have you ever wondered why it seems like Trader Joe's has the same food that you buy at cost? Costco, 
but it's in like two to three single serving sizes and just like way less expensive. Have you ever wondered why their vegan chicken nuggets taste exactly like the Gardein mm. vegan chicken mm. nuggets? And although I do not consume it anymore, why their French uh, onion soup literally tasted and looked exactly the same as Costco's? Because it is. Trader Joe's has a very interesting business model and they actually call up and contract with manufacturers directly to basically private label or white label different foods. Now the way that Trader Joe's makes money is that they put them in smaller serving sizes and when you actually look at the price you're paying per serving, there can actually be a difference and sometimes you end up paying more. But if you weren't gonna eat, you know, the 10 pack that Costco is selling you, it makes sense to buy the two pack and actually fully consume it. Now I don't know if they do this with every single product, but I do know that they do it for quite a few. I also know a couple people on the beauty side who have directly and anonymously confirmed that they're big fancy beauty companies and the manufacturers of such products sell the exact same formulas to Trader Joe's Ease and put them in different packaging. And again, I'm not getting in trouble for this because there was no NDA involved and I am not outing anybody's name. So thank you to our anonymous people who have anonymously told me things that I now have been able to verify from three separate sources because of journalistic integrity. But yes, three separate credible sources have confirmed this. Problem is that they didn't confirm it for this specific product, which is why I need to get to the bottom of this. Packaging, very different. However, 1.7 fluid ounces for $9.99 versus 1.7 ounces for $36. I smell a bargain and you know that a bargain smells very, very good to me. Let's actually compare what's in these. Let's look at the ingredients before we slather them on our face, shall we? And remember, with all of the products, let's turn and learn. The front of these say almost the exact same thing. It's an SPF 40, broad spectrum, sweat resistant, water resistant. They look identical. But when you turn and learn, you actually see what's in here. And what I'm actually shocked to see is that the ingredients list is not identical. This is not the same product at all. Could be a dupe, but it is definitely not the same. The Trader Joe's actually has a shorter ingredient list, although it does contain some if not many of the same ingredients but first let's go to the top let's go to those active ingredients remember that area at the top is considered the drug facts the OTC over-the-counter information that tells us what is actually active in these products that is providing a result because you can't make drug claims unless you have drug facts fun fact there you go now these are very similar we have the exact same filters involved but they are at slightly different amounts we have the same amount of avobenzone which is three percent avobenzone is really good for those UVA rays those aging ones. So if you sit in front of a window, inside of a car, you're worried about the long-term effects of the sun on aging. That's what's going to help. Whereas all of these help with UVB and some UVA, but the avobenzone especially is really good for UVA. We do have some homosalate. Trader Joe's has 12%, but the Supergoop only has 8%. We do have octisalate, 5% on both. And then we do have octocrylene, 6% on the Trader Joe's and 4% on the Supergoop. Now, these are both in SPF 40. And some people wonder, well, how are the percents different if it's both in SPF 40? Remember that depending on the way Way things are formulated and the way different molecules are coated, especially if you're talking about a mineral sunscreen, it can have an impact on how well these products reflect, refract, or absorb UV light. They can both be an SPF 40, even if those percentages are slightly different. I also wonder if one of these, specifically the Trader Joe's one, is going to sting my eyes a little bit more because there are ingredients in here that can be a little bit unfriendly to eyes or blemishes, like this motherfucker that popped up right in the middle of my eyebrows, like. What is happening here? When we compare the inactive ingredients, something interesting pops up. Every single ingredient in the Trader Joe's formula can be found in the Supergoop one. However, Supergoop seems to have a couple of extra ingredients that the Trader Joe's one does not. Now the base of these formulas is the same. We have isodecane, we have dimethicone cross polymer, we have polymethyl sesquioxane, which try saying that five times fast. And we also have some other cross polymers and things such as shea butter and caprylic triglyceride, which are great in moisturizers. And although all of these ingredients in this one can be found in this one, the Supergoop does have a couple of extras. Specifically, this has cellulose, this has diatomaceous earth. This has zinc sulfate, which are arguably very good for oily prone skin. This also has meadow foam and a type of algae that I cannot pronounce the Latin name of. Uh, I don't want to butcher this. Lithosaminoan calcium extract. Can we call JD Dombrowski and be like, hey bitch, how do you pronounce this? But what's interesting about this is that this might actually be more helpful with wound healing. These seem to have some antioxidant properties. 
properties and some oil controlling properties. And we know that antioxidants and sunscreens pair very well together because antioxidants can boost the efficacy of sunscreens, which is maybe why this has a lower amount of those drug facts, but has the same SPF 40 as this one does. Maybe that's why they had to change the percentages because the antioxidants aren't helping to blunt the UV response that's happening inside of the skin when it gets burnt. The good news is that they both have jojoba esters, which you know I freaking love. And beyond just reading the ingredients list, let's actually try out the product. Don't do that, it'll ruin your teeth, kids. But what we are going to do is put these to the test. Even the cap is different. The Trader Joe's has a flippy, flippy, squirt, squirt, whereas this one has a spinny, spinny, squirt, squirt. We're gonna squirt, squirt both of them on my hands and see what the differences are. The Super Goop is uh, super goopy as usual. I'm taking a pea size amount. It is slightly opaque, a little bit yellow. Not to be disgusting, but kind of looks like a loogie. Oh, wow! The Trader Joe's is very different. This is a clear, almost like a lucid one. Look at that! And even the texture, right off the bat looks a little different. The Super Goop is more like a loogie. It's like a blob. Whereas the Trader Joe's one, it actually has form to it. Like it actually holds its form. The Trader Joe's actually appears to be slightly thicker. Oh, and look at the way those drip. The Trader Joe's, this is so disgusting, but I'm going to say it as it is. The Trader Joe's is more like a congealed loogie, like the loogie that has like multiple viscosities. And the Super Goop one is more of like a uniform loogie. You know what I mean? Like a regular huh, huh, whereas the Trader Joe's one is like, oh girl, you this kind of looks like you are fighting off an infection or something. The Trader Joe's one actually holds, oh my gosh, much firmer than I expected. Feels a little bit more like Vaseline, whereas the Super Goop one is still Vaseline-y, but you know how Vaseline feels once you warm it up? That's what the Super Goop one feels like right off the bat. And I can actually see that the Trader Joe's one is slightly more firm and tented. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting them to be the same. And again, Super Goop one kind of has like a yellowish color, whereas the Trader Joe's one is more of a white. But again, they do both rub out clear. The Super Goop one almost feels a little bit more liquidy, a little bit more oily. Again, like a Solimo jelly or a Vaseline. Whereas the Trader Joe's one feels like the Vaseline before you rub it in, even after you start rubbing it in. The Super Goop one is also giving me a little bit more of an oily sheen than the Trader Joe's one, whereas the Trader Joe's one almost looks a little bit more mattified. But that's actually very interesting and counterintuitive to the ingredients because the ingredients in here, like with the silica and the zinc sulfate and the diatomaceous earth, I'd actually think that that would be more mattifying. Now, the other thing is that the way the ingredient lists are written, they are written based on concentration. So the most abundant thing in a product is at the top of the ingredients list, and then it tapers down from there up until the 2% line. That magical, undocumented 2% line is where companies can switch anything in there that they want. So we don't actually know if, you know, tocopherol is the very last ingredient in both. And um, I'd actually wonder if the Trader Joe's is a little bit thicker because it has a higher percentage of silica and jojoba esters than the Super Goop does. But I don't know for sure. Whoa, the Super Goop, is this even dries? The Super Goop is much more oily. And the Trader Joe's, it's not mattifying by any means, but it actually comes off more matte. Can you, can you see that? We're going to get some close-ups in here, but that's, um, that's impressive. The real test... <laughs> is how this works on the skin. They both smell the same, but they both smell like kombucha because she's been drinking her guava goddess mother kombucha. So I don't actually know what they smell like. We are going to test this out on the face side by side to see what happens. Because for all intents and purposes, these are pretty <coughs> close. They are not exact exact. Like it's not a complete ripoff of the formula, even though Kylie Jenner's was very sneakingly suspiciously similar. I, I'm actually, I thought that these were going to be identical based on what people were saying online. And again, they are very, very close close, but looking at how oily the Super Goop one is and how literally the Trader Joe's one is mattifying on my skin as I speak, I actually, I don't know what's going to happen. Wow. I'm like really impressed by the Trader Joe's. Do you see this? It almost looks like the Trader Joe's isn't there, whereas you can still see the sheen of the Super Goop. I thought that they were going to be identical. Now I'm wondering if the Trader Joe's is going to be better for my oily skin. But if you can't buy it because they're all <laughs> sold out, then it won't be better for the oily skin. Okay. This is going on my face because I am actually shocked shocked and very surprised and I, I actually don't know what's going to happen. And then is one of them going to burn my eyes? Is it going to break me out? If I rub this into my pimple, is it going to make me burn? Because then I can't use that. To the bathroom! I have a freshly washed face. There's nothing on it. I'm going to do the goop on the right and the Trader Josie's on the left. So I'm so excited to try this. I normally do two finger swipes per face. So for this one, I'm just going to do one. It's a slightly thicker formula too. And you know, I do like the super goop dispenser better, um, but that's where we're going with this. Is one of them more than the other? Do a little more of the super goop to make sure it's even. Is that about right? Yeah. Okay, ready? Invisible, truly invisible. The 
The Super Goop feels more oily on the skin. The Trader Joe's almost feels a little bit thicker. And that's the other thing is that you can't really see how much you've blended it in. So I think I'm fully covered, but like how would I actually know? Trader Joe's does feel a little bit thicker. Here is my skin. Even though they went on slightly different colors, you literally cannot tell a difference. I'm more dirt on this side of my face. I don't know, is one even more shiny or more mattifying? Like, they look identical. I feel like maybe the Super Goop is a little bit more dewy, but they look identical. I don't know, I don't know. Just washed my face and it's supposed to be 106 degrees today. Unreal, I don't know how we're gonna survive because I don't have AC here. So, um, wish me luck. And we are going to do one finger swipe of each sunscreen uh, on different sides of the face. So this is the Trader Joe's. You can kind of tell because it's a little bit more clear. And then a swipe of the Super Goop, which is much easier to dispense. One finger swipe is enough for the entire face. So I'm gonna like take this down the neck and onto the shoulders as well. Cause again, I do not want to burn today. We've actually done a blog post article on if you burn more in the heat and how the sun and the heat actually interface with causing sunburns because the answer is probably not what you think. Look at how smooth that goes on. Super Goop may be slightly oilier, but it literally breaks down into the skin so well. Oh, and none of them remove my eyelashes. I have the extendies on the eyelashes. So far, these have not caused major issues. I'm not overly greasy. Let's do a little on the backs. In the shoulders, whoop. And then we'll do our Trader Josie's. Let's see how this goes throughout the day. One side, they, they look identical. All right, let's see it. It is the end of a long, greasy day and I'm so tired. I'm getting a little bit of like, it's not even pilling. Honestly, it's not even pilling. If I apply it like super thick, like on my shoulders, it could kind of rub a little bit and like leave, you see a little bit of like little patchiness. But honestly, yeah, it is so good. I think the Trader Joe's side does a little bit more of like the crummies, but like it's barely noticeable. And if I weren't scrutinizing it, I legit could not tell. Not overly greasy. I have been in AC all day. Again, not at home, but like in restaurants and trying to stay cool at other people's houses. I'm shocked this is the face. This is, wow, <laughs> wow. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs> another day, another sunscreen application. I'm gonna try to get this on here. I think that's about even. And again, I can't see where I actually got it on and where I didn't. I'm breaking out a little bit on this side, which I'm kind of concerned about. This, I've had that even before I started this, but yeah, this is where we're at. A little bit on the shoulders to make sure that we don't burn. And a little on that side too. Do this. See, this side is definitely kind of concerning me on the back, but this side seems to be quite the happy camper. I'm trying to make sure that I keep each side to its own respective side. All right, extra goes on the arms and on the back of the hands, and we go on our way. Look at how it looks identical. You literally can't tell the difference. Hello from the hot, hot heat of California and our global warming. I have to say, my skin looks amazing. It is warm. I haven't been out here for a ton, so I haven't sweated yet. But look at this. I feel like they're identical on both sides. Um, I don't think I'm burning more on one than the other. And again, I'm not sitting in the sun. I'm just, you know, in the shade here with this nice maple tree. Um, I almost touched a spider web over there. Freaked me out. Am I burning a little more? No, I don't feel like I'm, I mean, yeah, it's definitely time to reapply, but I don't feel like I'm burning more on one side than the other and I'm not sitting in the direct sun. And I, I feel like my skin looks so good in both of these. My only concern is that I'm kind of breaking out a little bit, just there. Let's, let's reapply, shall we? We are doing the Trader Joe's on the left and the Super Goop on the right. I'm actually, I'm going through this quite quickly. I find that, especially for the price, I normally would not be putting the Super Goop on my chest and um, back, but for this little experimente, I have been, so. Yeah. So one finger swipe is good for face, ears, and neck. And then one more is good for the chest and the back. Um, and again, it doesn't like burn my eyes or anything. Very, very impressed. A little worried about the body breakouts, but you know, working on it. Body breakouts aren't that bad on this side. It's mainly on the other side, which is concerning. I'm like Trader Josie's, why are you doing this to me? Look at that. You see how all of that is kind of being broken out? I do not like. And then this side, we are pretty, pretty Gucci as far as the breakouts go. You know what I'm saying? Let me blend that in a little more. There we go. See on this side, 
doesn't look like I'm breaking out quite as much, which just kind of makes me concerned about that Trader Josie's. I just hope it's not making me break out. This is Dermatographia, so you can see if I scratch myself, it leaves like a welt. Love that for her. <laughs> Staying protected, saying SPF, hopefully staying sane. Can't promise that one, but I mean, frick, they look identical. Yeah, there's my scratches and uh, there we go. Welcome to the Pretty Purple Hydration Station. Look at this. It's a hot day. Trader Joe's side, little bit like, I don't know, is it more oily? Is it less oily? They look identical to me. They feel identical to me. Neither of them are pilling badly. I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. Again, breaking out a little bit. But overall, this is perplexing. I'm, I'm really enjoying this update. It's not burning my eyes. It's not stinging. I'm really, really happy with the way the Trader Joe's is comparing to the Super Goop. Don't mind the tears. This is a parked car update. Uh, I was laughing so hard that I cried and now my sunscreen is burning my eyes. So this does burn your eyes. This is what this looks like at the end of a very, very long, laborious day. And um, the sides look identical. Just a note, they are making my eyes red and burn when I got the sunscreen in my eyes because I cried. That's what happened. <laughs> Say hi, Tyler. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is... Do you see my eyelashes right now? Yeah, are they both chemical casts? Yeah. Okay, that's why your eyes are burning then. Do you feel my pain? I do feel your pain. Okay. Oh, that, now I'm holding up traffic. All right, goodbye friends. I am so utterly exhausted. It is like two hours past my bedtime. I have been awake for literally almost, I would say 22, 23 hours. Let's wrap this up. My eyes are still red from crying earlier. We are going to take this off our face. I'm gonna have a great night before I remove my day. Look at that. I see no difference. If I turn off this fancy lighting, I see no difference from one side to the other and my eyes are really, really red, so sorry. This is it, babies. I, they, in my mind, other than some of those breakouts, like they are pretty much identical. We're gonna remove this, we're gonna have a great night. Neither side's pilling. That's what's up, that's what's going on. Today, she looking super cute. I got myself like a little ruffle dress with the pockets. So we gotta stay protected because she doesn't wanna burn. So we're gonna do this thing again, where we put the Trader Josie's on the left and the Super Goopy on the right. And I will say, I'm I'm actually going through this Trader Joe's pretty quickly. 1.7 fluid ounce of the Super Goop as well. I don't know, I feel, maybe it's just the feeling of the bottle. The Super Goop feels like it lasts longer, but I actually don't really believe that it does. So here we go, babies. Make sure that you get all of your chesticles. You know, you don't want to burn anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely brilliant. It's beautiful. Look at how nicely that absorbs. I am perplexed. I am so impressed. Got a lot of goop here, you know, a lot of goop to protect a lot of skin. I also, it's only been a couple of days, but I don't feel like either of these sunscreens are like breaking me out terribly. Yeah, I haven't experienced that yet. Now, could take a little more time. I might see more results in a week or two, but so far, no cigar. And honestly, the Super Goop, I feel like it's so invisible that um, it's expensive to use for the body. I normally would not recommend using Super Goop on the body. It's such a good sunscreen, I would say face only, because it's expensive. But I'm giving you the full, full breakdown to see if it breaks me out. I have been super gooped and daily facial SPF'd. I don't feel effed up about it. So let's just let's do this again, take on the day. Good morning, everybody. Can you tell that I've been watching Urban Rescue Farm? It's time to do our sunscreen. I have been shocked at how similar these two formulas are. We're gonna do a thingy swipey of this one, and then we're gonna do a thingy swipey of the other. It's also been so hot this week, and I haven't been getting sunburnt with these, which is another bonus, is that it seems that they actually do what they say they're gonna do. Boom. See, when they go on, the super goop is a little bit oilier, but literally when you rub them in, they're exactly the same and then they feel the same on the skin throughout the day. I have been getting these little breakouts, but do I have purpleness under my eyes? Probably. When I put them on my eyelids, it, they get a little bit oily, but it's not terrible. You know what I mean? 
on my shoulders and then I'll do this one on my other shoulder. All right, that's our look for the day. This is what it looked like. This is the Trader Joe's side and this is the super dupe side. Neither is overly oily. Neither is looking one way versus another. I am just so impressed. All right, let's take on the day. Hey, 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 it's a wonderful day for a sunscreen application. Confession, I did not apply my sunscreen this morning. I am having horrendous cramps. I take medication because of it. It put me to sleep. So, woke up, did my skincare except for my sunscreen, went back to bed. You can probably tell I'm still like just waking up, but I'm going to be putting this on at like 10 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. I am a little bit oily, but I think that, you know, that is just my skin. And if I were reapplying this as I have been, that's been happening. So, wanted to be honest about what's happening and it happens to the best of us and uh, we're gonna do what we gotta do, baby booze. So there's one finger, finger dinger. Anyways, and here's the other one. Do, 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 super goop and Trader Josie's. You see, and it does not sting my eyes. Super goop feels so much more oily going onto the skin, but then when you actually look at it, it doesn't look that much more oily. See, those are my acne scars. Mm, do you see all of that? That is hypopigmentation. So those are all of my acne scars. I know you can't always see them when I have like my studio lights on, but there they are. <laughs> so Super Goop does feel a little bit more oily on the skin. They look identical. I have been getting a couple, you see little breakouts here on the Trader Joe's side. I, I don't know if that's just my body or what's going on. So let's do this. That I've been breaking out, look at that, boom. Put the sunscreen on your body. See, I can afford to do this with the Trader Joe's sunscreen, <laughs> but with the Super Goop sunscreen, the body application is getting very expensive. Super Goop on the other side. Oh, there's a little breakout right there but not nearly as bad as what Trader Joe's did to me. And check it out, the super goop. There's not like a bunch of breakouts over here, you know? You know, I used to be so insecure about my skin and my acne and my scars and my body and just like, I have a wrinkle here on my neck. Oh, my stomach looks a certain way. Oh, the folds of my armpit look a certain way. Oh my God, you know, the skin on my chest, it looks X, Y, Z. And it's like, you know what? The older I get, the more I learn to love those things. And it's crazy because I never could have imagined loving them. You know what I mean? It's been really good growing up. Hold up. I'm like really breaking out on the Trader Joe's side versus Super Goop side. Am I crazy or do you see it too? Anywho, this is the couch where it all started. And this is also the couch where I have just applied these and I'm going to get my work done today. Look at my, ow, my beautiful phone case, computer case. I'm gonna wake up. Love you guys. <laughs> This has been an adventure that has blown my mind and my pores wide open. Actually, I don't know if blowing my pores open is a good thing, um, but we're just, we're just gonna go with it. it. It shocked my pores in a very good way. When you dispense both of these, they look slightly different. This one feels a little bit thicker. This one feels a bit more oily, but when you put these on the skin, when you wear them throughout the day, when you take them off at the end of the night, they look and feel identical. I could not tell a difference. If you asked me and blindfolded me and put these both on, I would not be able to tell you which one is which. If you poured them in my hand and had me look at them, I probably could. If you rubbed them on my skin and asked me to look up close in the mirror, there is no way. And the proof is in the pudding. Also, neither of these burned my eyes. Again, I put them kind of on my eyelids, etc. I did not rub them into my eyes because come on now, kids, we already know that that's not how we use sunscreen. But these did not sting. They did not release any fragrances or any aromatic alcohols that burned my skin. And these also did not burn my pimples. Now, here's where things did get a little bit weird. I've only been putting these side by side on my face, chest, and back for about a week. But I will say, on the Trader Joe's side, I I am starting to get a couple of blemishes, specifically right here kind of on my shoulder, a couple by my neck, and then one or two on the corner of my nose. Is it horrible? Absolutely not. But I am noticing that I'm breaking out slightly more with the Trader Joe's than the Super Goop. Now, this is also suspicious because the ingredients are almost the same. Not identical, Super Goop has more, but the ingredients are very, very, very similar. And I'm wondering if just this is an anomaly and just half of my face and body happens to be breaking out, or if there is something in here that is at a 
higher amount or a higher concentration that is causing a little bit of clogged pores for me. Remember, all skin is different, so just because it clogs my pores doesn't mean that it'll clog anyone else's. You know, but it's a, it's a good data point to be aware of as I continue to use this, which becomes the question. Will I continue to use this and recommend this as a dupe for Supergoop? The answer may be no. Shocking, right? Based on how well this has worked. Here's why. I can't get my hands on it. It is sold out again. I'm trying to go to Trader Joe's. I'm trying to pick them up and they're all telling me the shelves are empty. The back is empty. We're waiting for the warehouses to send us new ones, but the manufacturer is behind. We're getting one crate at the beginning of the month and that's it. And they're limiting them to one per customer because people are buying them so quickly. And how am I supposed to recommend something if it's not available? It's like that stupid, amazing fucking watermelon mask. The one that's like a dupe for Glow Recipe. I love it. It's a great alternative to Glow Recipe, but if it's not in stock, it's not gonna do us any good. I would absolutely consider this a dupe for the Super Goop. I don't know if they're being made from the same manufacturer, and I actually don't know if this is being white labeled because of how different this is and the formula itself is different, but I would not be surprised if they contacted the manufacturer that Super Goop uses and just switched around or changed a base formula. Or maybe this is the base formula that Super Goop had originally modified and Trader Joe's reverse engineered mass spectrometered it and figured it out. I love that this is oil and fragrance free. I love that this is $10 instead of 40. I love that they are both invisible and if it weren't for the potential breakouts and the lack of availability, I would absolutely buy this a hundred times over. And for this, will I still be purchasing this? I think I'm gonna still test these and see why this one is breaking out part of my body more than this and um, see kind of what happens there. But overall, yes. These I consider dupes, they are excellent, and I do recommend them outside of those two things that for me, breakouts and availability, you know, those are those are pretty important. If you have acne prone skin, I want to know if this has worked for you. And um, if you have used these, I want to know what the f you think, because I have finally found an affordable version of this that I have been waiting for and searching for for so long. I'm also going to be putting some other sunscreens to the test. Let me know what you would like me to try, to buy, and to test so that you don't have to. And who knows, maybe I will see you in line at Trader Joe's uh, going through the line multiple times because these are only sold one per person. Overall, remember to reapply that SPF regardless of which one it is. Always stay hydrated both orally and topically and be beautiful both inside and out. Subscribe if you wanna see the next one and um, can't wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys, bye.